Hello, family. Happy 2021. We made it one more year. I pray that you and your family are doing well, are being blessed, and have a great 2021. Family, I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Simone over at Creation by Simone. We are doing a wedding bridal bouquet today. I want you to go over and check out her video. You would not want to miss it. Here are all the supplies you would need for this bouquet. It will be listed in the description box. I love both bouquet handles, but I'm not yet sure which one I'm going to use. I won these beautiful brooches from one of the YouTube creators. I decided to use the bouquet holder with a slanted handle. I just think this handle looks so elegant and it'd be perfect for the bride to hold. I'm going to use some more of this fabric that I used from my previous videos. I made a headpiece and a veil with it. If you have not seen those videos, please go over and watch them, especially if you are a bride-to-be. Okay, what I'm doing here is measuring how much material I want to put around the top of the bouquet holder, okay? I want it to be the same amount of material that is already on the bouquet holder. It's about 3 inches in width. Okay, the next step is I'm going to cut the material. And it's about 39 inches long. I bought about a yard of fabric, but it was a little bit more than a yard because this was the only fabric that was left on the roll. So it was about a yard and a little bit more. So it came at a good price though. I purchased this beautiful fabric from Joann's. They had so many beautiful fabrics to choose from. The next step, I will scrunch my material together to form a wavery pattern to go around the top of my bouquet holder. Then I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to put my needle right through the top of my material. That way it will stay together once I am putting my fabric around the top of my bouquet holder. Right now I am gluing my fabric down around the top of my bouquet holder. Okay, while I am gluing my fabric down, I want to take the time out to welcome my first time viewers to I Love Wedding. I appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn your notification bell on so that you will know each time I upload a video. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by. And to my family members who are so dedicated and have rocked with me for years and are my new subscribers, I appreciate you guys from where? From the bottom of my heart. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. finish gluing down all my fabric around the top of my bouquet holder. After I finish doing that, I'm going to cut off the foam on the top of the bouquet holder. I want to use it on another project. 
The next thing I'm going to do is glue my first bouquet holder inside my second bouquet holder with a handle on it. I will be cutting my foam ball in half and I will be using half of the foam ball for this project. I couldn't find my box cutter to cut my ball so if you are under 18 years of age please get an adult to help you cut your foam ball okay now I'm gonna glue my half a foam ball on top of my uh, bouquet holder okay I'm gonna use my glue for my glue gun and I'm gonna use some Gorilla Glue because it takes a while for the Gorilla Glue to completely dry my next step, I'm going to cut and glue all my flowers onto my foam ball. Okay family, I have another Bible scripture that I would love to share with you guys. Matthew 19 verse 6, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Okay, I have to throw in another Bible scripture. Ephesians 4 verses 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pearls to the top of the middle of each flower. Okay, I think this is going to look so elegant. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my sticker and I'm going to wrap it around the base of my bouquet holder. Then I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm just going to put a strip of it down the front of my bouquet holder. step is I'm going to put these beautiful brooches along the side of my bouquet. This tutorial I hope it was easy enough for you to do and for a bride to be I hope this was very helpful to you Thank you my friend Simone over at Creation by Simone for doing this collaboration with me. You guys go over and check out her channel. During this time, don't forget to repent and have a personal relationship with God.